Hi, my name is Joshua. I'm an uh, investment analyst from Hate Investments. Ceiling is a tourism and transportation ferry company. So they operate uh, all around Australia. For example, they have the iconic Sydney 2000, where you can have your fine dining on the vessel, and they bring you to see sites around Sydney Harbour. A kangaroo island is a very scenic island where tourists go there to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city life. So they experience nature in the island. They run tours and coaches uh, on the island to bring people around. They also run Murray Princess, uh, which is a paddle wheel factory, a very historic kind of a factory to bring you down Murray River. So over at Queensland, which is Western Australia, they run similar tours to two very key islands, Magnetic Island and Palm Island. Some of their key operations, for example, is in Sydney where they run under the brand called Captain Cook's Cruises. So you're able to go, for example, on board their key fleet, Sydney 2000, where you can do fine dining and they'll tour you around Sydney Harbour area where you can view the Sydney Opera House, you can view the Sydney Harbour Bridge. They also have a fleet for tourists travelling to point destinations called the Sydney Rockets. Okay, so they bring tourists to key destination points. Okay, over at Kangaroo Island, Sealing is currently the only operator that brings people from Adelaide to Kangaroo Island. So they monopolize the ferry operations there. And the whole island's economy actually depends on their services to operate. One of the reasons how we discovered Sealing was that we noticed in Australia there was a tourism boom trend that was happening. So we were looking out for companies that could capture that tailwind. Sealing is not your typical ferry operator. Uh, despite being the only ferry operator there, they did not just rest on their laurels. What they do is they make very long-term strategic efforts uh, together with the government to promote that island. By drawing in the crowd, they also get to benefit as the ferry operator. So over at Queensland, they invested into a team to see the feasibility of having an underwater museum. So the underwater museum, if it does succeed this project, is going to be the first in the southern hemisphere. Ceiling has three key areas of growth that we see. Uh, first is that the tourism industry as a whole for Australia is booming. As of last year, September, they just crossed their 8 million visitors per year mark. As of this year, June, they have already crossed the 8.5 million. Second is that we see how they have been implementing a lot of technology into their business operations. But they came up with this mobile ticketing app whereby you can purchase your tickets on mobile phone without having to go to the counter. And to board the ferry, you just need to tap the phone. Another tech operation that they are putting in is the Opel card system. The integration of this Opel system, which is very similar to Singapore's EasyLink system. Once they have this system on board, their, fer their fleet of ferries suddenly becomes part of the Sydney government's public transport system. And what this means is that the passengers that is boarding the bus can also board the ferry as part of their public transport option. And lastly is that we see how they have been aggressively expanding. Uh, with the success story of Kangaroo Island, they are taking and copying this mode of operation into all the other islands that they are expanding into. The main risk that Sealing face is the cyclical nature of the tourism industry. And part of that is tied to the relationship between two countries as well as the general outlook of the economy. To mitigate this risk, they are focusing a lot on the transportation industry which is more recurring in terms of revenue as well as more stable in terms of its profits. And now Sealing has a significant portion of its revenue contributed from transportation. So another key risk that Sealing face is uh, the competitive nature of the industry. But I feel that this risk is mitigated uh, because of the way that they have a very long-term outlook to their business operations and uh, how different they operate from the rest of the ferry operators. So Jeff first encounter with Sealing was okay, subsequently he was being employed by Sealing because of his good work attitude. Sealing uh, at the time was actually loss making. So what he did was he gathered a group of investors and he did a management buyout. Before he bought over Captain Cook's cruises, it was a very close knit family business. Uh, after he bought over the company, he was seeing how he can improve the working conditions of the staff. One of the quotes that I remember him saying was that the harder you work, the luckier you get. And this really goes down into the culture of the company. Because of the culture that Jeff has permeated to his staff, um, his staff being in a very happy working environment, they're able to translate their happiness to the customer's experience. Okay, so over the years, uh, ever since uh, Ceiling listed 
It has grown from a 140 over million dollar market cap company to now a 400 million dollar market cap in a span of three years. Its revenues has been increasing year on year along with its profits. So in fact, in their recent financial release for year 2017, they have just broke their previous year record high with about a 13.5% increase in revenues. Uh, net profits have also increased. Their dividend also increased year on year ever since they started up. Okay, so given the long-sighted strategy of Jeff and the management team, along with the work culture of the staff, it makes Ceiling a very unique hidden champion.